We're back and we're ready to go. Went upstairs. I got some more coffee. It's still warm, which is fantastic. I didn't drink coffee for the last couple days. And then today I was just like, like I said, I was so sluggish. Feel so felt so fatigued. I, I think I've been getting like the same amount of sleep that I normally get, which admittedly isn't that much. And after, you know, doing like more, a little bit more work, I guess the lack of sleep kind of caught up to me. So today I got some coffee and that first sip of coffee, man, the first, first sip of coffee felt so good. <laughs> I can't tell you just how much, how good it felt. It was like, oh, wow, I, I needed this. I don't know if I'm necessarily addicted to coffee, um, but but definitely I was like, well, okay, yeah, I, I, I need this. So yeah, I had to go upstairs. Um, I grabbed myself a cup of coffee, obviously took a washroom break um, and I made some rice because, uh, you know, we're having, we're having some Asian food today. And when you have Asian food, you know, you got to have a carb to go with your meal. And uh, today's choice of carb is is uh, is rice. I don't know what, like every meal, you got to have a carb, right? But the different, con all the different countries and different cultures, they have different carbs. And I, I'm lucky in the sense that I live in Canada and my city is very multicultural. Like... You know, we'll eat pasta one day and then we'll have potatoes the next, then we have bread the next. But I get like super confused with what carbs are for eat what culture. Like, I don't know what's what anymore. Um, so as an example, like, I'll have potatoes the first day, the next day I have rice, the next day I have pasta, and then we'll have bread, and we'll have something else, we'll have like non bread or whatever. I don't know. And then, like, I don't know what people eat anymore. You know what I mean? And then we'll have noodles. Like, it's super confusing these days. <laughs> is the... What the... Is this screen flashing for anyone? Every, anyone? It's like fading to black or something. Is it me? No, the screen's flashing. What the... What? What? Something's flashing, yeah. What is that? I think it's delirium. Hold on, it might stop flashing now. If it does stop flashing, I'm gonna guess it's delirium. All right, let's see. I guess Delirium's bugged. The screen was flashing like crazy. Or, or not like crazy, but it was it was flashing. That was weird. Stop doing it now, though. I thought it was my monitor. I thought my computer was just going haywire, but... Nah, it's just PoE. It's bugged. What's new? <laughs> Tell me something new. <laughs> it's just PoE, you know? <laughs> I get concerned when it's like, oh my god, my computer, something's wrong. And then I find out it's PoE, I'm like... Eh, okay. Yeah, happens all the time. Not even surprised anymore when PoE bugs out. But yeah, like I said earlier, before I got distracted by the weird flash... Mm, we're having rice today. I would say... Kind of stereotypical, but rice is probably up there in one of my, like... It's probably my favorite carb. You know, like, you have a meal and you have a carb to go with it. Rice is probably my favorite. Always depends. Like, if I'm having... Uh, I don't know. If I'm having a steak, like, I'm not gonna have it with rice. I'm gonna get either some potatoes or maybe some bread or something to go with it, right? But in general, I would say rice is my favorite. Um, what would I rank as my number two carb? Okay, this is gonna be weird. It's not potatoes. It's not bread. It's sweet potatoes. I really like sweet potato as like my my the carb for the for my meal. 
Like, often I associate it as like a, like a diet food. But I actually think sweet potatoes taste great. You bake it in the oven and it's just, it's fantastic, man. After that, it's probably some form of noodles. You know, like Asian noodles, uh, Vietnamese noodles. Like, I don't discriminate. Pasta, to me, they're all... P pasta and like noodles, I, I actually I kind of, there's a s difference there because most of the time when I think noodles, like Asian noodles, I think soup noodles. Whereas pasta typically doesn't have any soup, it's more saucy. And most of the taste comes from like the, the tomato sauce and stuff, right? I don't know. Do you guys have like a go-to, a go-to carb? It's interesting to hear what other people, you know, eat as their primary primary meal because you know you guys are all from different cultures and stuff right for me i got super confused because we eat from all the cultures in toronto or in, in canada it's it's super weird you know it's it's the land of immigrants like i the other day we had sushi uh for dinner but like at lunch we were having like you know Like, uh, we had, we had steak or something, you know, <laughs> like it was, it was super weird. Um, my favorite is potato and sweet potato. Hell yeah, dude. Potato isn't up there for me. Uh, I love fries, like French fries. I love them. Uh, and sometimes I'll make it at home as well. Because these days I haven't been going out as much. Potatoes and sweet potatoes. They are up there. Sweet potatoes are really like, like I said. All right, another delirium. Please stop flashing. Don't flash, don't flash, don't bug out. Don't bug out, you stupid game. Pasta, potatoes, and sweet potatoes? Huh. A lot of potatoes and sweet potato lovers here. Okay. I thought it was just me. Good to know. Surprise nobody said, um... Corn. Is corn a thing? I thought there'd be more corn lovers out there. Or like, uh, I don't know. Breads. You know, like pita breads or tortillas and stuff like that. Mm, what's that? But hell yeah. Like, okay. Potatoes are so versatile though. You know? Sweet potatoes, not so much. Like there aren't that many ways you can make sweet potatoes, right? I believe in traveling light. Sweet potatoes is just maybe two or three ways. You either you you bake them or you uh, you grill them. You know, you stick it in a fire. You what else? I don't know. It's like that's it for me. They're, they're pretty prevalent in um, uh, Korean dishes, though. I went to some Korean restaurant a few months ago, and they put sweet potatoes in the in a chicken dish. Oh, it was fantastic. I added some, like, sweetness to it. Mm. It was good. If you can't tell, besides gaming, you know, my interests... Eating. <laughs> Alright, so we're coming to Crypt to get that map. But like now, a little bit more, you know, I've been enjoying cooking a little bit more these days just because going, <clears throat> going out is hard. So a lot of times I crave food, I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I gotta make it now. I don't know how, but I'll try. Corn for me is more like a snack. A snack, really? Interesting. Typically, I have corn as like the carb. I've done it. I'm not afraid to admit it. Although, okay. I'm the worst at eating corn. Like, you know how some people, they eat it off the cob, like, you know, they, they use their teeth and they, they kind of chip off the corn like that, right? And they go row by row. Or to go column by column. 
I take the corn and I literally pick it off kernel by kernel. That's how I eat it. Like I'll, I'll, I'll take forever with corn. That's that's a uh, that's my way of of eating corn. In Israel, most of the time, corn sells only in the season. Wait, what's the what's like the primary? Um, what's the primary food in like Israel? Like the staple food, is it corn, or not corn? I mean, is is it potatoes, or is it like uh, I don't know, some kind of bread? Because when I think Israeli food, I actually don't know what it is, actually. I'm trying to think of what I would associate to be Israeli food, and I can only think of, like... I don't even think this is Israeli. I can think of, like, you know, like... Like, uh... Oh god, this is gonna sound so... Yeah, like hummus. Hummus. Is it hummus? And like breads, you know? Dude, it is amazing. Oh! You know what? I'm gonna make some tonight. I kinda want it now. Hummus? Hummus. You are well. <laughs> what about like, uh. Tabuli? Tabule? Is that from the same region? Oh god, I need the cold and lightning resistance, but I hate losing out on the life. 60? That is gonna get, fix my resistances. Let's just do it. Forget it. Let's do it. What is going on with my... My sound? This belt is... It's going straight to Vendor Town. This flask I can take. Journey well. In in Israel, don't really have real nationality food because it's a mix of nationality. Same here. <laughs> I don't know what my food is, you know. Basically, whatever I eat, it's like stuff I pick up as I when I go traveling. Like for a while, I, I got really into um, like Korean and Japanese food. In fact, I'm still really into Korean food. And in fact, I'm I'm super into like. Well, I went to Korea and it was so, Korea and Japan, both places. It was so nice. I got so into like their culture and stuff. But more importantly, their food. Their food was good. So like these days, I eat a lot of like Korean food, like a lot of kimchi, and I'm not Korean, but I appreciate it, you know. But yeah, like or like, I like Thai food. I like, you know, I like South American stuff. It's weird, and I don't I don't know what my like. If someone asked me what's like your staple food, I, I don't even know. Especially in Canada. I mean, I've had to guess, it's probably like some form of meat, steak, and potatoes, but... Like actual Canadian... What's a Canadian staple? It's probably some something along the lines of... 
potatoes and something. So I guess it was kind of weird for me, for me to ask the question because I don't even know the answer myself for my own uh, my own country. And now it's even weirder because a lot of families choose to eat like, you know, like vegan diets. They have like all kinds of weird diets now. Uh, I visited like a co-worker and they were on a keto diet and they just, you know, only ate proteins and fats and no carbs. And that was a little weird for me. Apparently it works, but... It, it didn't work for me, like when I was eating it, maybe I would need to get used to it, I don't know. Maple syrup, yeah. Oh, that's true, maple syrup. Poutine, maple syrup and poutine. That's, that's our, that's our food. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I added the emotes, see? I listen, you can, you, you can say what you want about me, I listen. <laughs> there you go. The emotes are the emotes are there. I can't find this freaking locket. I've been looking for the last freaking five minutes. Here we go. You know what? There's one fundamental law in PoE, okay? That will always be true. That I, without fail, it has always been true. For the most part, actually. I, I can't say without fail, but like 99% of the time, uh, it would deliver. And that is, it's not clear speed is king or any of that stuff. The fundamental law is complain and you shall receive. I literally just complained about the fact that I couldn't find this friggin' locket. Five seconds later, I found it. But possibly you have to complain on stream. There's a layer of streamer RNG. You gotta, you gotta layer on all the different RNG factors that you know, and 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 turn it to your in your favor, right? You gotta have a little bit of streamer RNG. Boom, plus five percent in luck. You gotta complain. Boom, another plus five percent. Right? Plus 10, maybe, because I feel like uh, complaining about it gives you a, a, a higher chance than having streamer RNG. Like, you're rolling, you're rolling that chest, you start streaming, boom, plus 5%. You roll a few times, you go, man, I've been rolling forever, I can't get that 6 link. Boom, the game delivers. Guaranteed. Never works for me, sadly. Just gotta complain harder, I guess. <laughs> Telling you, like, 99% success rate. Be well. well. Obviously, you know, it depends on what you're complaining about. You're like, I need an exalt. I haven't gotten an exalt drop in so long. I mean, those are harder to get, so, you know, one ten ten percent more of you know zero percent is still still zero percent so there's there's that start complaining how you never had a headhunter there's no way a headhunter would drop here <laughs> that's a logical fallacy it just can't happen You know what we will complain about? Like, let's start small, okay? Uh, I mean, I haven't, I haven't gotten a Chaos Orb in a while. You know? It's been a while. Five second boom, headhunter drop. Is it weird for a, se for a second? I was like, maybe. Maybe that could happen. Can you imagine? It'd be a great clip. We could go viral right now. But no, no, like there's, there's no way. <laughs> it's, 
it's impossible for it to drop at this level i'm pretty sure you have to be unless it was like legacy league or like the flashback league no no even flashback league they said uh league specific uniques won't drop so like in in the general zones ggg is watching Right here, right here, right here. Okay, hold on. Let me find a boss. Let me find a strong box. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hit it with some currency. Uh, nothing good's gonna drop from it. I'm sure. Damn it, GGG. Damn it. I was being sarcastic. Oh, oh, oh. You, I see, GGG. You want me to you do it on the large strong box? Okay, okay, I see. Higher chance of getting, you know, more quantity. Ah, okay. I, I forgot to put currency on it, though. I'm sorry, that was my fault. That was my fault. That was, that was, GGG was ready to hit the button, but I forgot to uh, put some currency on the strong box. So they decided, oh, no, no, no. No, it'd be too obvious if you got a good drop from that. We can't, we can't do that. I get it. I'm sorry. That was, that was on me. Okay. You don't need to press the button yet. You just wait. You just put, you ha hover your finger over it. Okay. I'll let you know when it's time. Or maybe you let me know. Send me a sign. Give me a sign, GGG. When do I, when do we activate this? Okay, RNG activated. Well, there's a strong box. There's a strong box. <laughs> Yo, are strong boxes supposed to be this common? Because it's like hilariously common right now. <laughs> like it's getting a little weird. Okay, okay. You want me to put the currency on it, GGG? Okay, we were doing this. Oh God, I left my map. It's okay. What kind of currency? Uh, dude, we're just, we're, I mean, I can only put, okay, 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 G -G -G, I'm, I'm, I follow, I follow your reasoning here, let's, let's do this, let's, this is gonna work, right, it's gonna work, you're telling me this is gonna work, otherwise this is a complete waste of currency, okay, look, we're, I'm even qualitying this thing, Giving it quality. Yeah, yeah, okay. You gotta hit the button now. The strong box sucks, by the way. <laughs> but, but, it doesn't matter. They just need to hit their magical button. Okay. Okay. Someone was asleep on the wheel here. Someone was asleep. You know? New Zealand time? Like, what's New Zealand time right now? Hold on, hold on, I need to Google this. Current time, New Zealand. It's 11.47 a.m. Nobody... Nobody should be asleep. You all should be working right now, okay? Someone hit up customer support right now. Uh, I'm complaining. I'm, I'm sub submitting a formal complaint about the lack of drops. This is unacceptable. Uh, let me talk to your manager. We, we, got, a, we got a whole roleplay thing going on right now. This is great. Can you imagine if something like like an exalt actually dropped from that strong box? Dude, I'd be pogged out of my freaking gourd. Oh my god. Unfortunately, nothing happened, but You do it enough times, something's going to drop. <clears throat> you know what's another possibility when I say 99 time percent of the time if I complain something drops? Maybe I just complain a lot. 
Like, eventually something's gotta drop. <laughs> but no, seriously, like, nothing's, nothing's been dropping. I haven't gotten a Chaos Orb in, like, forever. Admittedly, we're in Act 7. It's not even that high, but... Where's the goods? How do you expect me to keep playing if you don't give me any of the goods, GGG? Like, seriously. Okay, I've died to this guy before in this build, so I want to be careful. Can you imagine if Gigi gives me a prophecy for Headhunter? I can't. I just... that th Those are the layers of RNG that makes for good content, admittedly. <laughs> Alright. Now's the time. Now's the time, Chris! Oh, wait, no, no, I gotta kill him first. Sorry, 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 my timing was off. My timing was off. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. That was my mistake. Okay, we gotta sync up, Chris. You and me. You and me, we're syncing up. Vrrr. Nope. We should do it on an actual, like, Cyrus kill or something. You know, something that actually means... Like, like a fight that actually means something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, back to work tomorrow feels feels bad, man. I guess pack size. Oh god, I'm killing too slow. How's this possible? Oh, I can't do Elvis fast enough. Yeah. You know, I was just enjoying my time in this incursion. Having a grand old time, really. And then I look up and I realize the timer is at one. Uh... Look, we're fine. We're fine. There's, there's no need to be concerned. We're still progressing fine. It's possible that the weapon is, is getting a little bit outdated. Um, I can't do this just yet. But I mean, can't, can't be. It hasn't been that long. We didn't have this weapon for that long. But Alva incursions are kind of rough right now, huh? But it's possible that I was just... Could have been me. Okay? That's what I need to tell my build right now. It's not you, it's me. I'm the one that's not performing up to standard. Let's try that again. Monster damage? Oh god, kill the slow soul eater. Kill him! Kill him! I 
really need to get those mana leash nodes though. Oh god, I can't kill anything fast enough. Go, go, go! Okay, yeah, clear speed's a little slow, but that's okay. God, I'm getting stuck in doors from leap slamming. Why do I need to go based on Alva's time, you know? I want to go at my own pace. Screw this timer. This is BS. Maybe I just... I bleed them and I run. Maybe I don't need to kill them. I mean, I'm doing bleed after all. It's damage over time. Hmm? I never thought about that. Yeah, the bleed's gonna kill them. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I see where I went wrong. I forgot that I'm playing a damage over time build, not just like a hitting build. Okay, this went a lot better. Except I forgot to put down the key. I basically forgot to play uh, how to play uh, incursions. I believe in traveling light. Maybe it's time to um No, not yet. I was going to say switch out for multi strike, but I don't think it's time yet. Alright. Other than clear speed, and to be honest, I don't think my clear speed's that 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 bad. I really don't. Uh, maybe it doesn't meet incursion standards, but it's not that bad right now. So far, I would still say we, we've got ourselves a solid build. Not that I'm the one who made it up, you know? I just knew last raid was good. That's what the next few days are about, though. Let's find, you know, some good builds. I need to have more tools in my tool belt. I can smell it. I can smell the rice cooking. What's the time? Six o'clock? I'm getting a little peckish, but I, I'm not like dinner time hungry yet. I'm gonna wait till it's actual dinner time. What's the standard dinner time for everybody? I feel like when I was a student, dinner time was like super weird. Like it was eight o'clock, nine o'clock, five o'clock. Like I didn't have a consistent time. It, it tended to be late. Like much later than before like when I was living with my parents our dinner time was like six o'clock on the dot you know now it's like now for me my my wife and I is typically around 6 30 obviously when I'm streaming it's it's different but um but when I was a student my dinner time was like super weird whenever I want to eat at night yeah it's like when I'm hungry and it's like it's it's not consistent which is fine uh, it's just, you know, it's, 
It was weird. Now the follow-up question is, uh, are you uh, eat at the dinner or at, eat at the table dinner person? Or are you like eat while watching a stream dinner person? Like for a while, I used to be eat at the computer table. And then eventually I changed to, I want to eat at the dinner table. Even with my, when I was living with my parents though, uh, very often I would eat while watching TV. And I feel like that was kind of a bad habit. And then especially when I became a student, I started like, you know, eating at the computer desk, like right, right here, basically. While watching like YouTube videos and streams and stuff. Six o'clock dinner and then snack at night. I think that's a solid, solid eating schedule actually. Not, not that I would know what was considered solid and what's not, but it just sounds like a solid schedule. Depends if I'm with somebody at the dinner table or if I'm alone. Okay, here's the weird thing. Even when I'm on my own, I've gotten into the habit of eating at the table. I don't know why. And, and it's not a cleanliness thing. It's just like a procedure thing for me. You know? This is where you eat dinner. So I'm going to eat dinner here. It's weird. And then like if I want to watch something, I'll watch it on my phone. On the dinner table. Instead of watching it on a computer screen or on the TV or something. Back when I was fatty, four, four to five times a day. I don't think it's necessarily bad to eat multiple times a day. Obviously, you just have to, you know, it depends on what you eat. Oh, look at this. I believe in traveling light. Look at me, I'm so fast. Oh. Wait, I, I might want that shield. I probably don't want this. Zoom. We're zooming. We're zooming. This is a zoomer build. Is that how you use zoomer? <laughs> this, is a, this is a sweaty build. That's what it is. This is a sweat. Uh, this is a sweaty build. We're sweating. Yo, I swear to God, I don't know like all the all the lingo anymore that people use. Like, I don't really. I haven't been watching like any streams and stuff. We we were talking. We were, um, and like I don't really, you know, talk with the younger gener. Why am I calling them a younger generation? Like people in their like teens and 20s and whatever like obviously before you know when i was gaming with my friends we were all in our teens but now it's like like i don't i'm not on tiktok any of that stuff so some of the things people say my uh my brother-in-law he he's dating somebody that's slightly on the younger side you know like early 20s mid 20s and then she has a sister who's in like not even 20 yet, I think. Like, she's just gotten to college. And then some of the stuff she says, I'm just like... Huh? <laughs> I just didn't understand her. It's like she's speaking a foreign language to me. You know? Getting old, man. Getting a little old. Nothing wrong with being old. But sometimes you're like, oh man. I, I don't understand, like, some of the lingo. Oh god, am I a boomer? <laughs> oh god. It's happening, I'm a boomer. Hmm. This belt is interesting. As resistances that I would like. 
but it has no life. And it's fire resistance. I don't think I'm lacking in fire resist. Yeah, okay, forget it. What about that amulet? Oh god. Every day. I'm telling you, every day I'm getting spammed. This wasn't a thing, like, uh... When I was streaming in the past. Uh... Yeah, yeah, there's a lot more bots these days. Okay. And it's like, you know... Why? Do they really think I'll go out and buy views? I'm not... My self-confidence is not that low, okay? I'm perfectly happy with inflating my views by watching my own streams. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I don't- I don't need- I don't need to buy views from bots. I'll just- I'll buy... 50 phones and I'll watch my own streams. <laughs> yes. Thank you and please fuck off. Pretty much that. I just- I don't- I don't get it. I don't. Like, there's- There's something to be said if you have good content, but you don't have the recognition, right? Uh, like, you make good content, but not enough people watch you, and because of that, you just can't get off the ground. But if you're not making good, like, that's the first thing you should be working on. Just make some good, better content, and over time... I'm sure your channel will just grow naturally like that. You view bot and stuff, and like... People are gonna catch on. Like, okay, here's the thing. If you're actually, like, a streaming genius... And then you get yourself off the ground by view botting... And then people see, oh, this guy has a lot of views. He's at the top of like the Twitch charts or whatever. And they come to watch and they're like, oh, this guy's entertaining. He's actually really good. And they stick around. It's a little scummy. But if I, if that's what happened, I'd be like, well played, sir. You know? But more often than not, people who view bot are, don't actually have good content so isn't that a waste of money if you bought people come to watch and they're like right like no it's not good what am i watching that's that's the only part i don't get But here's what I will say. There are a lot of really talented people on Twitch. I, I've i taken the time to actually go and watch some more streams, which I don't normally do because it's hard to find the time, right? And it's like, instead of watching stuff, like maybe I could be working on my own stream. Um, but it's like, no, it's actually... There's uh, there's some learning behind it because you watch someone else's stream and you can see what they're doing. You can maybe pick up a few tips from them. Um, and I've been watching a lot of small streamers. There are a lot of talented people on Twitch. There 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 are just there are a lot of really talented people that unfortunately don't get recognition, which is it's a little sad. And I'm like, wow, their stream is actually fantastic. They only have like. 100 followers, what's going on? And it, it's like I said earlier, like, they're just, you know, they don't have the... Like, you, you need to reach some kind of... Stability, you know? 
like there, there's a critical point that you reach where it's like okay now like the amount of people that that join the stream that follow and stuff uh is balancing out the number of people that are like you know they show up and they just leave you know they don't stick around my spirit is spent I myself had a decent channel that got hacked and I can't back so can't get that I can't get back. So now I'm trying to get the motivation I had back then to rebuild a new channel. Yeah, it's hard. It is hard. And at the end of the day, depending it depends on your goals, okay? If you actually want a successful channel, it's a lot of work. And if you get hacked, it's it's demoralizing. It's like the hell. Um if you're doing it for like self-fulfillment reasons, you know, like part of the reason why streaming is fun because you get to interact with people, right? Uh, then it's obviously not as bad. Which it still sucks though, your channel got hacked. Um, I don't know, there's, there's, there's a lot of really good people on Twitch that unfortunately don't get the recognition they deserve. I've watched a lot of channels in the last few weeks where I'm like, wow, these guys are great. Like, I wish my channel could be like that, you know? Small streamers are the best. It's fun. I, I like I like it too. I think it's... They're, they're fun to watch. But you know what? Here's what I will say about streaming. Um, so, like, the first step is to just do it. Just, you know? Hold on. You know, just do it. Getting started is the hardest part. I have a friend who wants to start a podcast. And, um... And he's, he recorded the first episode or something. And he's been editing for... Like a month. And I'm like, dude, what are you editing? He's like, no, this part's not good, this part's not good. And I have a sneaking suspicion that it's fine. He just isn't confident about it. You know what I mean? And it's like... You just need to... Once you do it, once you like just dip your foot in there... It's much easier to keep going. Because you gotta build up that habit first. If you're just... It's a confidence thing, I feel like. Oh, it's not, it's not good. Of course it's not good. It's your first time, you know? But you build on top of it, you just keep going, just keep going, and it gets better over time. My first streams, my first videos, just god awful. There's no way I'm going back there to watch it. Farewell. Okay. I, I would have to be in a really strange state of mind to go back and watch my old content. <laughs> I can't. They were so bad, but at the end of the day, it's about like, you know, you, you just, you just got to take the plunge. You got to do it. Just do it. Just do it. I greet you. And then it gets easier. Goodbye. You know? I think you need to add a goal in the points. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. What should I make? It? What, sh what should I do though? What should it be? I like that idea. It has to be something cool. What about uh, sell item? <laughs> no, you, you can just vol my items re repeatedly. If you have a hundred k, just vol it. Just ball it over and over. Okay, so we're gonna chance to bleed last rate. I think now is when we take off faster attacks and we put on multi strike. Multi strike. Multi strike? Where's multi strike? Here. Um, 100k? 100k. You have 13k, how much can you vol? 
I don't know. Way too much. Like 10 items or something. That's a lot. Okay, I, I'm actually going to think about what to do for 100k. So please don't fall on my items. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, everything's bricked. Nothing works. What do I do? I would think that 100k would be like... Mm. Could play another game. We could do... Um... We could do... House tour. <laughs> I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I do want one. Makes sense. Okay, I need fire res. Fire res, lightning res. Fire res, lightning res. We could open a Minecraft server for everyone. But those are like follower goals, right? I will That's see. different. To be honest, I should probably... I hate follower goals. It's like... It's almost like I'm selling out, but like selling out to the viewer or not, not taking advantage of like, I don't know. I don't like follower goals. Wait, did I kill the boss here yet? I can't remember. Oh God. I'll go check it out after. I don't think I have. Because I was still collecting fireflies. 100k. Alright. Here's what 100k will be. Every 100k? No, that won't make sense. Let's try to do something with hardcore in it. Because I never play hardcore, right? We'll make a hardcore character. Uh, if it dies though, you know, <laughs> we come back. I was thinking about doing hardcore for the one week race. It kind of makes sense, right? But I feel like it's already hard enough. I'll just straight up die. Like how many times have I died today? Once? Twice? That's... I died once today. Actually, I died once for this entire character, Pog. That's actually a good thing, because normally... You know... I've lost... Okay, at one point I really did play a lot of hardcore. And for the longest time, my characters just wouldn't die, right? Like, I would get to maps... Like, late game maps before I actually started dying. But now my characters, I don't know what it is. Maybe my play, ha play style has changed. Maybe I don't pay attention as much. I would get into maps and I would have, like, 20 deaths. I think I need to be, uh... I, I, like... These are the kinds of things, like, small... <laughs> small cracks. You know, these small cracks are... They're affecting my gameplay. And now I'm like, wow, I actually feel like I'm, I'm a pretty bad PoE player. Like, looking back, you know, my characters were solid. Admittedly, a lot of them were from build guides and stuff, but... Even the ones that I made, you know, they were good, like, defensively.
part of it is I try to get more clear speed. The more you try to get clear speed, unless you're playing like a solid skill, if you get too much clear speed, you just naturally start dying more, I think. Like if you build into too much offense, you just won't have enough defenses. Or you just go too fast and you don't see stuff. Like bearers can show up. Or volatile, you know, whatever. You walk into, you know, you're going so fast you don't react fast enough. Oh, multi-strike is great. It can totally replace faster attacks. Good. I'm glad I switched over. Talk to Yina. Okay, so we can fight Gruthkul now. No. Is it Gruthkul? Who is this one again? Yeah, Gruthkul. Not bad. Gross crawl. Gross crawl. I release you from motherhood's rage. Goodbye. Nice. Okay, so what do I want my minor god to be right now? Mm. Damage over time is pretty annoying. I don't have an anti beat bleed flask right now. Okay, let's do this for now. Let's take Gruth Coles. Each hit you've taken recently? Sure. The end of learning is the best. Be kind. Slowly building up the currency. This is pretty nice too. Wait. Dual strike. Dual strike. Are dual strike builds still a thing? Dual strike hits intimidate enemies for 4 seconds while wielding an axe. Dual strike deals splash damage to surrounding targets while wielding a mace. Yeah, it is. Okay. Again, another thing that I'm just not... Aware of. What would you like to know, Exile? Keep your wits about you. Okay, I'm gonna take Curse Effect. I don't know if it's that good of an idea, but I don't know if it's worth it. But I like the Calling Strike against marked enemies. Three points for Calling Strike. Not great, but it's like a straight ten percent. I don't know. It's, it's okay. It's never dead because it's easy to build. True. Yo, give me those easy builds. That's what I want. Give me some easy builds. We're gonna try out all the easy builds. We go easy, then we go hard. And when we go hard, we go... We go real hard. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh wow, things are getting fast. Multi-strike is actually faster than faster attacks, what? And it's auto-target too. You only need attack speed and crit multi. Uh, okay, yeah. I could see it. For dual strike? You know, I would try a build like that. Although I think for dual strike you'd probably preferably play like a Well I guess there's a lot of classes that can do it. 
But it wouldn't be a duelist. It'd be something like a shadow. An assassin, maybe? Or a raider? Or even a pathfinder? That's what I would typically use for dual strike. I don't know what the... Or even... Uh, Berserker. Where's the thingy? The thingy, where's the thingy? Oh, I don't have a quest here. Oh. Dang it. Assassin or duelist? Duelist? A dual strike? Like a... Champion? I can't imagine another class going dual strike. Okay, yeah, champion. And then you go impale or something, right? That or bleed. Bleed would be gladiator, obviously. This is fun! I'm having a lot of fun! I'm not even memeing! 10 out of 10. I recommend this build. This is fun. Although sometimes you gotta switch back and forth between Blood Stance and Sand Stance. I don't mind it, you don't need to press that much, but... Something to keep in mind. When I'm fighting rares on a Blood Stance, it doesn't have enough damage, I think. At least with my current weapon. You know, I'm pretty sure, I can't remember anymore, but I'm pretty sure I still haven't gotten the Chaos Drop yet. Like, GGG, I'm serious. Now's, now's the time. I'm really complaining now. Give me, give me that drop. Okay, more Curse, and after that we got Culling. Good, good, good. This is working. You got one, but it was a long time ago? Don't remember anymore. Definitely, uh, we're not getting currency fast enough, but... I'm not expecting to get currency while leveling, you know? Typically, I expect to spend more currency than I make when I'm progressing. It's not always true, but... Dude, when you get this fast, you get into a groove. There's actually a rhythm to it. It's like bam, 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 move, bam, 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 move. And this is when you like. This is when you go into ASMR mode, right? 
because things start becoming automatic. Actually, I noticed you got two right before you start complaining about not getting Chaos Drop. Wait, really? 99% <laughs> of the time, it works, right? <laughs> I complain and someone says, yeah, you did get it. Okay. Oh god, physical thorns. Is that gonna hurt me? No, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. I'm gonna skip the corrupted zone. I don't think I need it right now. Because I just want to progress. Okay, we need to find our way to the middle. I remember the, the waypoint's always in the middle of this area, right? Getting a lot of rogue markers too. I probably want to do heists later today. I've been doing a few heists off stream, but for the most part, I've been just putting it in the stash and forgetting about it. Um, I should probably take some time to level uh, the heist guys. Do I need a vol skill? Well, that's the thing. I don't think I need a vol skill. What vol skill would I need? Uh, it would have to be like... Okay, I do. There's one. Vol Molten Shell. <clears throat> that's the only one I can think of. Vol... Otherwise, Vol... Grace? Maybe? But it's like, you know, it, it's not gonna speed up my clear speed. It's just gonna give me a, a bit more defense. I don't even have a cast one damage. I don't have a guard skill right now, actually. I don't have one activated. Or, you know, in my... In my socket, so... Yeah, maybe I want a guard skill, but defense is... is so far, it's it's been fine, right? Um... So that's why I'm not too concerned. What other vault skill would I need? Let's see what's out there. Vault double strike? No. Cyclone? No. It would have to be some kind of aura. Uh... Grace. Grace or haste. Those might be okay. But... Maybe haste, vol haste, just to get more clear speed. Nothing else. I'm actually more interested in just getting, I really want to get into like maps and stuff so I can run, uh, what are they, like grand heists or whatever. I want to get some of those divergent skill gems and stuff. It looks so cool having like, I, I noticed just how many like alternate builds there are this league because of those skill gems. I'm like, man, that looks like fun. Because you're like, oh, I wonder what build I can make with this gem. Just that in itself is super fun. Oh, I got this new uh, unique item. Like, I wonder what build I can make with that. That's the kind of stuff that interests me. Unfortunately, uh, I can't even get to a level where I can be like, oh, I can make a X blank build with this because... I don't know what the builds are anymore. I don't know what's good anymore, which is why we're playing this character, right? We need to figure out what's good. Although, so far, this has been really good. I mean, supposedly everyone's playing it, so I guess there's a reason why this is good right now. But yeah, I need to take some time and try out different builds.
Otherwise, uh, I'll never learn. Knowledge, knowledge is power in Path of Exile. If you don't know enough, then you're gonna fall behind. And I really do feel like I've been falling behind in this game. Not that it's like a life or death kind of thing, you know? It's not like my career is based on it. If anything, maybe I should be working on other stuff, but... I want to get better at this game, and that involves learning more about the game. Jesus. Attack speed is just so fast. Do -do 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 -do. That's how fast it hits. Do -do 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 -do. It's like a rap. Do -do 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 -do. What's nice about multi strike is it auto hits or it auto targets. Yeah, multi strike, I do. I'm thinking about looking for a way to generate rage. But I feel like I would need... Let's see, what are the ways to generate rage? You can have the rage support gem. You could have... Uh, you could have that keystone, the one from Legion, I think, Chainbreaker. You could have a cluster jewel to generate rage with War Cries, I believe. That might be it. But rage would be helpful. Okay. All right, now we got Culling Strike. Now we can call all of our enemies. Call them out of existence, send them straight to the Shadow Realm, dude. We will defeat all of our bullies. We're gonna make them bleed! Physically and metaf more, uh, metaphorically. Bleed! I can't do this just yet. Alright. This is actually going fantastic. Let's see, so we're currently in Act 7. We're about to finish the boss. Gonna go into Act 8. What's the time here? It's 6.30, 6.40. Let's round up a little bit. Oh god, he ghosted the boss! So oh god! <laughs> Oh no! It's gonna be fine, right? It's gonna be fine? Uh... Okay, okay guys. I think it's gonna be fine. Am I even doing damage? <laughs> oh, oh, please no. All right, concentrate. 
We do a lot of damage. This is fine. It's fine. Oh. He does a lot of damage too. I actually think I need fl I need flasks. Let's get some flasks. We'll come back. Drop a TP. We're gonna cheese it a little bit. I don't have enough sustain right now. Oh! Ho 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 I should have that, saw that coming. Or I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming! Oh. Rip. Jesus. Alright, we gotta stay a little bit further back. That thing shotguns too hard. Right. When the balls come in, you gotta dodge. He's about to shoot it. I wasn't paying attention to the mechanics there. Again, he's gonna shoot it. Okay. Wait, no, he disappeared. We shouldn't have died there. If I knew the mechanics a little bit better, I think we could have lived. Well, now I know. I wasn't focusing on the mechanics when I played before. Um. But yeah, you, you see all those balls coming in? That's when he's charging up and then he goes pew pew. I didn't know before. Now we know. Now we know. My help is yours. Okay, increased fire damage. Let's see. Do we get any good gear? Uh, hmm. No. Goodbye. What's my life? 2200? It's not that low. Admittedly, I haven't been focusing on life much these past few levels. Kashara Star? What? I had a side quest I forgot about? Just a thought, this calling strike from the tree, you think it might just work with that minion gem where you target an enemy for your minions? Calling strike against marked enemies. I don't know if it affects your... You might have to test this. You know what? We'll test it. We'll test it. Hold on. It, maybe. It is a mark. Uh, is this still a mark? I don't think it's a mark anymore. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What was the reward? Uh... MJ, I, I think you might be onto something there. Let's see. Mark, it's a blue skill. Assassin's Mark. Is this still a mark? It might not be a mark anymore. Death Mark, I think is what it was called. It got renamed, right? P 
predator. Signal prey. Yeah, yeah, predator. Applies a debuff to a specific enemy which signals your, your minions to consider that enemy to be the prey. All minions from skills supported by any predator support will target an enemy. Okay, so predator itself is not a mark anymore. So if you use predator on somebody, that's not going to work. But say we do... Okay. Summon Raging Spirits. Uh, summon Raging Spirits with... Uh... Alright. We'll try this. With Predator. Okay. Summon Raging Spirits... Might be a... Eh, no, it's fine. Okay, and then we'll go to... Uh, what's like an easy area? That won't get us killed. With a big dude. Ashen Fields. No, not Ashen Fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashen Fields. The den. Okay. Here's what we'll try, okay? So we're gonna... Hit him... With a default attack. Um... We have Vitality on, so hopefully we won't die to the boss. And we're going to use Summon Raging Spirits with Signal Prey. Okay. And I leveled up, so let me level something. We're coming down this way for our leech. Okay, I remember there were some unique monsters over here. I still do plenty of damage, right? They're not going to kill me? Okay, the bleed's gonna kill him. Okay, okay. I gotta make sure I don't accidentally cause him to bleed too much. Okay, we'll kill one of them. I guess the Necromancer. Okay, I'm default attacking him. He's bleeding. So, let's not get him killed. Okay, so Warlord's Mark. Signal Prey. He might still be too... Uh, hit him. Hit him. Get him lower. Get him lower. Get him lower. 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 Okay, that's gotta be 10%. Warlord's Mark. Signal play. Summon Raging Spirits. I don't know if it's working. Warlord's Mark. Default attack. Yeah, it doesn't work for summons, unfortunately. Let's try it again. So we're gonna we're gonna get him real low. Okay, we're gonna default attack him until he's real really, really low. The other guy had energy shield, so maybe you know it was a little weird. Um But it looks like your minions will not be affected by it, unfortunately. Okay, okay, that's definitely like less than 10%. So Warlord's Mark, Summon Raging Spirits. Yeah, they're not culling. Warlord's Mark, they're not culling. I'm gonna default attack him, that's gonna call him for sure. Yeah, you were, you were, you had a good idea there, MJ. You had a good idea there. I, th I think uh, it would it would have been really cool if it worked. Unfortunately, it didn't. But you know, kind of sucks.
I like where your head's at, though. You know? And you know what? We wouldn't have known if we didn't try, so... Glad we tried as well. Be kind if you can. I think it should be the other spell predator. Wait, what? Did I do it wrong? Yeah, I was using Predator just now, so I put Predator on him, and I also use Warlord's Mark on him. Predator isn't a mark, for sure. So if you mouse over Warlord's Mark, notice how uh, at the top it says Mark. So it's Spell, Duration, Curse, Mark. Predator uh, wasn't... it got changed, it's not a mark anymore. So if you look at the skill... Predator... here. The first part is, it says support minion spell duration, and it doesn't end with mark anymore. So before it was, it was called death mark, and they changed the name of it because it was confusing. Um, probably because they don't want this one to be a mark. Otherwise, can you imagine? Everybody would pass, it would be sick. Everyone would pass down here from the witch. It's pretty far, and come down here for, uh, for mark for death. Just so you can get culling on your minions. I would do it, probably, if you have, if you're like a aura based, uh, actually maybe not, it's pretty far, or no, you would anoint it or something, but yeah, it's not, it's, it doesn't work, Stay sharp if, if it were a mark, it would have Stay worked, wait, are there any more passive quests that I forgot about, no, that's it, Good attempt. Good attempt. I was I was convinced as well. I thought it would work for sure. But they changed it. This league. This league they changed it. I think. Because Marks came out this league, right? Before it was called Death Mark. But they changed it to Predator to get rid of the confusion. Clearly they did it, you know. Uh, it was a good idea for them to change it because I was confused too. <laughs> I was I was I was quite confused. I was convinced that Mark would work, but uh, unfortunately, no. Then there must be a way to mark somehow. The spider boss was not affected at all while you fought it below ten percent. Yeah, so the minion I marked it, and then I sent minions after him. Um, and yet. It, it didn't die. I, I might have forgot about uh, using the mark on the spider boss though. Like my mark. I might, I might have forgotten about using it. Uh, especially since he like goes down into the ground and comes out and stuff. He, I'm pretty sure like it wears off or it dispels during that time. But when I was testing it just now, I marked the boss and I sent minions after it. And it didn't do anything, right? And then I marked him again and I hit him with a default attack and he died. He got called. So, clear, clearly shows that, you know, the minion part doesn't work. Um, the annoying thing about the mark is you need to manually mark the boss. Do I have Blasphemy? Blasphemy wouldn't work on the marks because uh, they changed it so marks can only affect one enemy at a time. Wait, can you, can you Blasphemy a mark? I might be wrong since I haven't been playing too much this league. Yeah, you can Blasphemy Curses. I don't think you can do it for Marks. Admittedly, I haven't... I didn't read much of the patch notes to this league. Or I haven't been playing enough to know. But I'm pretty sure it's single target. Alright, we'll try to Mark against the boss here. Now you understand why it didn't work? Yeah. With the spider boss, it was weird because he just... He runs from me. Okay. I don't know if the mark worked. It went too fast. <laughs> he just died. I don't know. I think it did something. What's this? I can't 
can't do this just yet. Mm -hmm. Hey MJ, thank you for the follow. I heard Nessa, aka best girl, and I didn't know what that was. I'm like, what's, what's going on? Thanks, thanks for uh for the follow. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks, thanks a bunch. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to see you around more often. As always, I want to mention that uh, if you're actually interested in following this... I'm trying to figure out a stream schedule. I keep saying I'm going to stream stream more and then I'm like, uh, I'm busy or I don't have time or whatever. In this case, I moved to a new house. My wonderful new house. I'm in a basement. I like look at all the wood. Um, and like I ran out of time. But I'm trying to figure out stream schedule. And every time I do decide to stream, I'm posting it on... POE was I, what I live and breathe these days. So are you like a, somewhat of a new POE player? Dude, I... I wish I could go back to the day where like... I can go back... Like, like POE is... It's just like my life, you know? Years now? Me too, me too. But I wish I could be a new player again. Cause it's like when I was a new player, it, it, it's like you were, you were like a newborn child, right? Like everything is new. You're looking at everything with rose-colored lenses. Like everything was awesome. Almost twenty thousand hours in. Oh my god. Actually, I might be close to that. Bring me back something nice, huh? I must be. Just in like YouTube content, I have over like. 600 videos and they're like an hour each but that's only 600 hours at most i don't know i, I maybe i'm not at 20,000 20,000 is a lot <laughs> first time was cool first time yeah yeah i wish i could go back you know take me back wipe my memories of how poe worked but then i would have to relearn everything and there's just so much content for poe see you if you play via steam you can see it I wish I forgot lol and played like the first time. Dude, you got to what? Like con is it called conquer? Challenger. You got to challenger rank. You sure you want to forget about all that? That's a lot of a lot of time and dedication you need to get there. Oh, anyways, like I was saying, MJ, if you want to uh, follow the stream schedule, I will be posting it on Discord as well as Twitter. So, um, you know, if you ever want to come hang out, it's typically a stream around this time. Uh, make sure to, you know, feel free to join our little community. Our Discord channel isn't very big, but, you know, we got, we got cool people in there. Also, on a personal request, and this isn't MJ targeted, this is everyone here. As well as those watching on YouTube. If you are on Discord, uh... I would like to request uh, uh, food picks, specifically home cooked food food picks. If you guys are having, you know, if you see if you have a cool meal, I need more meal ideas. I'm running out. I don't get to go out to go to rest or uh, you know you don't get to go to restaurants as often these days. So I'm running out of food ideas. I'm eating the same thing these days. I'm a night owl, Every everyone over here is asleep. Where are you from, MJ? If everyone's asleep, that means this must be either Europe time or even further out east, right? Yeah, you might be in the same Netherlands. Okay. I was going to say, you might be in the same time zone as GameTop, but no. GameTop has the late, latest time right now. What What time is it over in Israel? So Netherlands, it's like seven hours. Two a.m. Really? Seven. Netherlands might be one a.m. here, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yo, yo, you guys are staying up late. I'm a night owl too, though. I'm not judging. I'm also a night owl. I'm gonna have a bad time tomorrow morning. If I stay up today, though, 
I've, I've been staying up the last three days because it's weekend and I took Monday off. But I got work tomorrow morning. You know, 9 a.m. Oh. Hopefully we don't, uh... We don't pass out. Only 5 p.m. for you, Zangetsu? Must be nice. <laughs> oh! Usually go to sleep around 4 or 5. When do you wake up? Dude, waking up's the hardest part for me. I'm just like, oh, please, one more. I'm not even like, like I have like freaking five alarms set up. I'm, I'm that person. I let this, the, the alarm snooze. And like, you know, it takes freaking five or six snoozes before I wake up. I'm that person. Around 11 in the morning. Okay. Okay, that's... It's pretty nice. That's a good amount of sleep, actually. Four or five. Actually, seven hours of sleep. So I've been trying to get by with seven hours of sleep, but... I've been doing more, like, physical activity. And not, like, working out or anything, but... Shoveling snow. You know. Just working on the house. Uh... Sanding the floor, pulling staples out of the floor, and like f seven, six or seven hours of sleep is not. I'm I'm collecting sleep debt. It's 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 not good for me. I don't know. I can't I can't do it. But for the most part, yeah, like I I stay up. I I would say I'm a night owl. I like doing stuff at night, even like schoolwork. Uh, I, I like doing it more at night or just like actual work. Like when I'm in the office too, I'm more effective like later in the day than I am early in the morning. Can hardly move. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Same Z's. My, my dream invent, like, what I want is, like, so, so the one thing I hated the most about, like, I'm so happy about the fact that we're working from home because I just roll out of my bed and then I go to work. And that's my freaking dream, man. Because prior to that, just getting up, taking, like, the, the transit to work, having to walk outside in the cold, I hated that. I'm like, someone please make an invention where like you roll out of bed and you hop into a little tube. You know, like the, if, you got, if you guys ever played uh, Satisfactory, you like jump into a tube and it teleports you from one place to another. You go, and it just takes you to work. I'm like, yeah, I want that. And while you're in the tube, dress me. I don't want to dress myself anymore. I'm over it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I'm hitting the valve. That hurt. What? Elon's working on it? Hell yeah. That's that's I'm dude, the moment that shows up, I'm I'm signing up. Beta, alpha, I don't care. I don't need to wait for a release. Okay, I'm going early access on that shit. I'm hopping in that tube. Take me to work. And dress me. That's part that part's important, okay? You gotta put on my pants for me. I, I just don't I don't wanna show up in my boxers. And you can say, like I'm next. Why don't you just, you know? Wear clothes first. No, 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 no. That's not what I signed up for. Okay. I'll beta test all you like. I'll I'll, I'll beta test all you want. Just Good luck to you. put on my pants for me. <laughs> Tell me something. Any charge you might be willing. To Fire and lightning resistance. Arriving now. Splash against the wall. Splash damage. One hundred percent. Oh, I, I imagined it. I imagined myself as a freaking pancake, dude. Just for a, a second. What's up? Before I'm like, yeah, maybe I should wait for damper technology first. <laughs> damp damper technology. Yeah, that that might be a good idea. Good luck to you. 
There you go. I just... I had a mental image of myself just... I, I can even hear the sound. It's not like a boing! Just... Maybe wait with signing up. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and backpedal a little bit here. Maybe, uh... Maybe we're gonna hold off. Maybe, like, you know, they, they did say early access. You, sh you shouldn't do early access. Who knows what's gonna happen in early access. Early access, bad. Early access, bad. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead... Do the most annoying quest first. What's the most annoying quest you ask? It's that stupid Tolman quest, man. It's a dumb quest. I like the story part. Clarissa's trying to save Tolman, revive him, but it's a dumb quest. The Ankh is all the way to in the middle of nowhere. And then you have to go through waves of zombies. Zombies, man! Zombies are the weakest mobs in this game. Jumping frog. Jumping frog is annoying too. Because he gets slowed by him and he does he actually does a lot of damage too. And he keeps jumping in and out. He makes images of himself. I feel ya. One second, I got a text. Sorry, I had an important text I had to answer. We're good, we're good. Just made my eighth character animate weapon. Animate weapon seems like a really good build, actually. I've, I've played it once before. It felt clunky to me, but the damage, if you like, I've seen some videos, it's insane. Clear speed's really good too, right? Actually, no. Anime weapon isn't that clunky anymore because they made a. Uh... Yeah, I haven't I haven't played uh like the new anime weapon stuff because you know like Blade Fall, EK, like they leave weapon remnants, right? I haven't played since that patch. I played a long, long time ago. Yeah, it must be a lot better now. Because the, the one thing I didn't like about anime weapon is the actual act of animating the weapons. Which defeats the whole skill, right? It's like, well, I'll just play a medium build instead. Because you're like, oh, click on the blue item. Oh no, I like an accidentally animated like a decent base or something. Gonna bounce. Hey, Game Top Jam! Thanks for showing up. Thank you very much for joining. It was it was fun talking to you. I can't do this just yet. And uh, I hope you have a good night. Have a good night, man. Very easy to summon them. Just annoying to summon them every time. I feel you, dude. I remember when I was playing, I played it as like a auto summoner with Jorhas Blacksteel. I enjoyed it, it was really fun. What I didn't like is just having to collect weapons all the time and animate them. That's the only thing. Ah! Ah, game top! Ah! <sighs> For you, man. For you. For you. I can't say no. You redeemed the channel points, that's what it's there for. Don't? Don't? No, 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 you redeemed those points. I'm not looking. Oh, rip. Rip. Weapon. Down. 
Weapon down, boys. We need a new weapon. <laughs> okay, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It was about time we go and craft a new weapon anyways. Okay? Okay. Uh <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. We have y you know what? I should have checked my previous DPS. It could still be decent. Hold on. This could be a good thing. Right? Attack speed is down. Was it a rip? I don't know anymore. It feels okay. It wasn't a rip. It was, it, it did not. Look, our previous weapon wasn't that good. Or it was good, but it wasn't like insanely good, okay? I was happy with volleying it. Yeah, it's okay for leveling. Or this is okay for leveling. Our previous weapon was also pretty good for leveling. I'm not, I'm not sad about it. It was about time that we, we went and tried and uh, made a new weapon anyways. Okay. Temporarily, this is my new weapon. But I do think we should consider uh, making another one because the previous one, you know, like the the tomahawk, the base item itself is pretty low, anyways. Okay, I think damage is lower actually. Maybe maps you're gonna have problems. Yeah, let's let's try crafting another weapon uh, after this quest. So we're gonna do Clarissa. We're gonna find a new waypoint, and then we're gonna. I have a base item here. I have a siege axe. We're just gonna alt regal it until, or yeah, we're gonna transmute it, and then we're gonna alt augment until we get some decent physical damage, and then we'll just regal it. It's okay. It won't be that bad. Can't imagine it would take that much currency either. That's the nice thing about having just like a. Like a, like a good build. Even if you like rip your weapon, the cost to get like another one shouldn't be that much. It's different if we got like some kind of build enabling unique and then we vault it and we can't get it anymore. Especially in solo self found, right? Can't even trade for one. But I think, I think we'll be fine. It was a fun vol. Yeah, dude. GameTop, I hope you have a good night again. And thanks. Thanks for uh, joining the stream. Have a good one, buddy. Okay, so we're gonna finish Clarissa. We are going to get the waypoint. Um, I hate this quest, man. This is my least favorite one. I like the lore. I like the idea of it, you know, Clarissa's trying to save Tolman and it didn't work, blah blah blah, but... Don't mess with the dead. There's a moral here. But it's just annoying to get the pieces. It's such a big area. Okay, so we're gonna kill Tolman, we're gonna get, grab the waypoint, we're gonna craft a new weapon, and I gotta go for dinner. All right, sorry. I am back. Okay, so we completed the Clarissa quest. Let's go get the waypoint.
<laughs> Where? I hate this quest, man. I keep saying, like, the... the The most annoying thing for like newbie players is getting lost, and here I am getting lost. <laughs> I need to, uh, after this, I need to go have dinner anyways. So let's go find the waypoint. Th that's the thing, I want to get to the next area. But I swear to God, they uh, they changed the layout because before it used to be. Is it here? Oh, here it is. Yeah, there was a branch in the path. Layout is different every time you enter a new instance, but it was the same. It used to be the same in the in the in the key, but now it's not. All right, Green Gate Waypoint. Okay, okay. I'm getting a little hungry, so I, I kind of want to finish this up, anyways. So let's we've all our weapon. <laughs> I kind of want a new weapon. I figured. This might be a good time to do it anyways. Generally, generally yes, but there's more than one tile set. Huh, good to know. I was, I was sure it was just one. Okay, the colors don't matter. Okay, so we're gonna... Craft on this. So we want physical damage and anything else. Physical percent damage. Not just physical damage. Okay, so we're looking for physical percent. How long would that take? Attacks of 30% chance to cause bleeding. It's pretty good too. Attack speed. Socket. I mean, last time when we rolled physical, it was, it was really good, to be honest. Oh, just this is already pretty good. 25% chance to cause bleeding. 40% uh, increased damage with bleeding. Like, just this blue item is probably already more DPS, right? It's not? But it's pretty close. Mm. Do I roll over this? If I regal it, I don't think I can add percentage damage. Uh, hello. Also, after crafting, there is the crafting table in your hideout for more goodness. Yep, yep, good point. Uh, well, actually, hold on. There's percentage physical damage here. Is it valid for weapons? Six. Okay. This might be good enough. So we're gonna regal it. We hit cold damage. More damage is fine. And then we can hit physical percent. Now this is gonna, this should be a lot better. Oh yeah, that's a big, big diff. Now we could have kept going, but we're still leveling. So I didn't want to waste too much currency. So now we got ourselves a pretty good siege ax. This one is going to be in uh, in the rip category. <laughs> it's still okay, but obviously, you know, not as not as good. Before we had 90% increased physical damage, but on a on a worse base. So now that we have a better base, we have a better flat physical. This this thing's pretty good. And then the the bleeding damage is also pretty good here. 40% increased damage with bleeding. Yeah, tier 2 hemophilia. I like that. 
Let's see. Life. Okay, that's a bunch of nothing. Hello. All right, so um, I will see you again. pretty good episode. Unfortunately, I didn't complete the act, but we're gonna run through probably most of Act Eight. Let's see, tomorrow, probably tomorrow, um, and then so we're gonna do Act Eight and Nine tomorrow. Hopefully, after that, we're gonna do Nine and Ten. Get into maps, try and get you know a little bit further into maps. I kind of the goal really for this week is just get more of these challenges because I joined high so late I didn't get to play too much um, and I would like to get more of this done before the December events start rolling out uh, so I believe that's in um, next Friday right something like that so we're gonna be working on these characters uh, probably gonna be streaming for the next few days the schedule will be around this time go back one hour so 6 p.m est give or take is probably where i'm gonna when i'm gonna do it um but that's it for this episode thank you guys very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it just two hour recording holy crap uh and if you did enjoy it as always you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future otherwise keep in touch guys i'll see you guys next time bye bye